You've probably heard this before, the idea that simply observing something changes it. But what if I told you that same principle doesn't just apply to particles in a quantum physics lab, it applies to your life, your reality, right now. This is the observer effect. And once you understand it, once you learn how to work with it, not against it, you'll be able to shift reality in your favor. No fluff, just science, consciousness and clarity. Let's dive in. At the heart of quantum physics, there's something that defies logic. When you observe a subatomic particle, it behaves differently than when it's not being watched. This isn't a theory. It's been tested, documented and repeated. The simple act of observation causes the wave of probability to collapse into a single outcome. In simple words, reality becomes real when you look at it. Now hold up, what does that have to do with your life, everything? Because you are not just a passive observer of your life, you are the participant. And the quality of your observation, what you expect, believe, focus on, affects what shows up in your reality. When you expect to fail, you behave in ways subtle, unconscious ways that support that outcome. When you expect love, abundance or success, you start to see opportunities, say yes to chances, take different actions. That's not luck, that's quantum alignment. Here's what's wild. Your beliefs aren't just mental, they're energetic. Your attention is energy. And where attention goes, energy flows. Most people are walking around unconsciously focusing on fear, scarcity, rejection, judgment, and what do they keep attracting? Exactly that. If you want to shift reality in your favor, you need to become aware of where you're placing your attention. Are you observing the worst case scenario or are you tuning into possibility? Most people wake up and immediately observe their limitations. I'm tired, I'm behind, I don't have enough. That observation becomes their experience of reality. Not because it's absolute truth, but because it's what they've chosen to collapse into form. You have the power to change what you observe. And that changes what becomes real. Think about this. Your brain is filtering reality through what's called the reticular activating system. This tiny bundle of neurons determines what you notice and what you ignore. And it's programmable. You can literally train it to observe different things. If you start focusing on gratitude, your brain will start finding more things to be grateful for. If you start focusing on opportunity, your brain will show you doors you never noticed. It's not magic, it's neurology. This is where intention comes in. When you move through your day with clear grounded intention, when you deliberately choose what you observe, you begin to bend reality. You're no longer reacting, you're creating. And this isn't about toxic positivity or delusion. This is about precision. This is about choosing the lens you want to see the world through. The lens that empowers you, that aligns you, that serves you. Let's say you're in a difficult situation. Financial struggle, heartbreak, failure. You can observe that through the lens of I'm broken and that's the reality that will keep unfolding. Or you can observe it as this is temporary. This is data. This is the beginning of my shift. Same event, different observation drastically different reality. The more consistently you observe from a place of alignment, the more that alignment becomes real. Because observation is not passive, observation is participation. And here's the secret most people miss. Your external reality is just a mirror. It reflects back the frequency of your most dominant observations. So if your outer world looks chaotic or stagnant, dawn, 